Little one owner Jayco mini bunkhouse just came in on trade here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a 184BH J Flight SLX. Uh, this is a, an extremely popular model and one we know a heck of a lot about because holy cow have we sold quite a few of these here at our store. Um, by the way, if you're ever curious to see what we have in stock and what we're asking at any given point, uh, there's a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. That'll one click away from showing you all the used trailers that we have what we're asking, how they're equipped, all that good stuff. Um, the uh, 184 here is a, it's a great model. The folks actually didn't even have kids, even though this is a, a bunk model here. Uh, I think it may have been used for maybe dog crate storage, which is actually a pretty common usage for a floor plan like this. So I'm going to point out some things that are somewhat uncommon features in tiny campers and, and kind of point them out from there. First of all, I'm going to start from the top, the fact that this has a full walk-on roof and it's in great shape. This whole trailer has been very well kept. It's been stored outside, but what trailer isn't? I mean, it's it. most trailers are stored outside, so I'm not going to really knock that against it. It's not uncommon. Um, so the roof is full walk-on. A lot of these mini campers are not. Uh, we've got our front window here with the shield for, uh, you know, weather protection and, uh, you know, protection of the seals of that window, but also just to give you lots more light in a little space. Lighter feels bigger. Lighter is brighter and brighter is bigger. Bigger is better. That's the plan. Diamond plate up front. Not a lot of little campers have that either. Uh, you've got outside storage on both sides of the trailer, and that actually runs under the benches of the front dinette, so that's great. Little preventative maintenance items are always a good thing to see, like little mud dauber screens. That keeps the bugs from building a little home inside your furnace exhaust so you know you don't have a fire hazard waiting for you. And this is something that's nice. This is built just like it's Big Brother full-blown J-Flight. This is just the little guy. Uh, galvanized steel wheel wells. That's an awesome little thing right there that keeps that thing protected. God forbid you have some sort of blowout. Uh, previous owners put the nice little sewer caddy hose right on the bumper back there, so that's you know easily accessible and whatnot. Um, I like the, the spare tire cover they added too. That was not standard. So they put a couple little small things on here, but for good preventative longevity, the only reason they swapped this out, it, actually I think they're, yeah, there's their vehicle and that little wolf pup right there. They went from one mini camper to the other only because the wolf pups uh, have bigger storage tanks than when this one was built. That's it. They liked everything about this trailer, and they basically swapped for the exact same floor plan. They just wanted one with greater holding tank capacities because they do a little more dry camping. That's it. Other than that, hey, you've just got a heck of a deal on a, a nice little used camper here. 2,740 pounds. Super easy towable, potentially minivan towable at those weights. And this is what I mean by, by pretty darn clean, guys. Floors, uh, you know, cabinets, countertops, uh, cushions, everything's in really nice shape in here. Everything's got a good sheen and luster. They did the job right. You, you wish more used RVs were kept like this. So the 184 has a, a big front uh, sort of living common space. The dinette can fold down into the master bed. My experience has been a lot of people with this floor plan just left it down. They just never bothered folding it up and just left it down the whole time. Now, one thing people don't seem to think or realize, I guess, if you take these cushions off the back over here, that is like a good adult size sleeper. So you can get an extra sweet, uh, sleeping space squeezed out of this one right here. <laughs> sweeping space. All the windows are UV tinted. That's an uncommon thing in little campers. And again, we've got lots of windows for lots of light in here. And we have a skylight uh, up top, which is also a vent for ventilation. We also have a full halo of overhead storage. And you can see exactly how big and deep that is. This is real functional cabinet space. Very good space in area. That'll take your arm to just short of your armpit. Um, also, if you uh, reach around the cabinet styles, you can feel where these are screwed together, not stapled. Uh, side mount air. It's not as powerful as roof mount air, but it doesn't need to be. This is a tiny little cabin. You don't have uh, a triple slide fifth wheel of cubic foot of space to cool. This is a little one cabin trailer. That little AC will do it more than justice. Uh, the uh, other thing with this being on the side, it's not on the roof, which means the whole clearance of this thing is shorter. Along with the easy towing narrow body, that uh, less overhead means like getting this in and out of maybe a, uh, a barn or a big garage is just super easy. Now, um, the table's freestanding, so obviously I can fold down into the, the, the sleeper, or you can just kick it outside like a picnic and have a nice wide open front lounge. We also have all um, pleated nightshades in this trailer as well. The, uh, I got some terrible backlight here, pardon me there. A little uh, stereo up here in the corner for some uh, campsite entertainment. Little, uh, little camper, but you know what? Decent kitchen, 
pretty big overhead cabinet over here. Floor to ceiling pantry or uh, linen space, whatever you need, because that's right next to the bathroom. So that can sort of float between two purposes. And um, since they're not using a big oven in a little trailer that frankly you're not going to use anyway. You just end up with huge like pots and pans size storage. And the fridge is gas and electric by the way so it doesn't matter if you're in a park or out of a park you're good. Hookups here for TVs, open counter space for all sorts of prep work. Even It's even griddle sized with your appliance outlets there. So again, they did not use this for um, bunks. They used this, I think, for dog crates, as I recall. Let me flip some light on up here. There we go, a little bit better. Um, so the, the bed mats are literally brand new, literally never used. Nothing wrong with that either. Uh, let's take a peek at the bathroom. And uh, this is really where this little camper starts to separate itself from a lot of them. The fact that we do have a full bath and shower here instead of a uh, what's called a wet bath where the toilet is in the shower, this is a separate dry bath. And that is by far and away a more preferable arrangement for most people. There she is, that's that's it. Uh, you know, easy towing, easy price tag, one click away from checking all sorts of availabilities and all kinds of good stuff. Give us a call, learn more, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.